Hey guys, it's Krontos the Hedgehog, and we're back with Sonic Legacy Issue 2 Official Dog. This is made by Sonic Paradox, and we're just continuing from our uh, issue 1. I'm just continuing uh, continuing from the yes, first issue, so yeah. Um, I'm sorry that I've been gone for a few days and been quite absent on my Krontos the Hedgehog channel. It's just, I've been uploading on my Zelda Ranger channel and just preparing to upload a lot of more videos because that channel alone has been quite absent. So, I've made more content for that channel and not been focusing on this channel. But there will be more content coming in the future. So, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video because I'm reacting to it. So, I'm hoping I will enjoy it because I have never watched this before. But, um, issue 3 did, uh, did come out before. And it was, I haven't watched it, but I've seen a bit of it. But not all of it, so I sort of just rushed through. I was like, "Oh, there's a uh, third issue." So uh, it looks like there's going to be a fourth issue as well. But it's like going to be the final, so I don't know. So uh, I just want to get this done so I can do um the murder of me because like that's a very interesting like drama. Like it's so good. Like I don't know. It's it's so depressing and morbid, and that's something I like. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, classic logo. That never gets boring, to be honest. Oh, well, Sonic's the best, man. Ooh, the cast. Sonic the Manhog. The blue blurb. Uh, Sonic's dolphin girlfriend. Tempest. Oh, Tempest is a good name, though. Not a fish. It's a dolphin. It's a class of fish. Like, no. An egg more. Is the person that made, um, voice the dolphin? The voice actor of the, um, Tempest, the thing? Thing I remember was fighting that the holding hands girl. and then we fell down here this is nuts who would have thought there was something like this underneath South Island this whole time this should be fun are you insane this is a nightmare here who knows how far underground and surrounded by molten lava molten lava the most of a bad situation. Besides, how are we supposed to get out of here if we don't explore? I reached out in a panic, and I'm just saying that we should be careful. One wrong step, and we're Moby and Flambe. Slow and steady as those winks. I can find a way out in no time. Just follow my lead. So, does slow and steady sound good to you? Hmm. Come on, chili boy. Unless you want to be cooked alive, I'd recommend jumping. <laughs> What's the plan now? We drift until we fall down a waterfall made of lava? Your power of observation is incredible, Mr. Manazar Fish. Ha! Ladies first. How chivalrous. <laughs> Ladies first, indeed. Hey, I saved you before you were skewered. I'd say that's still chivalrous. At least we know what we're up against in this place now. Chivalry. <laughs> Tired. <sighs> I'll be fine. It's just a bit more. Funny how the cocky dolphin girl is so good at swimming, yet she's struggling just to maneuver around lava and obstacles. What is it? It's it's not sexist because the fact that women are more f like can dodge way more than boys can because we're just surrounded by muscles. I can't even do the splits. W women are incredibly smart as well, so. I'm incredibly dumb, so. I'm just trying to find my passion right now. Right now, I'm trying to do become a director and stuff. What did you do? I swear I didn't do anything. Can you run? Uh, I think. <laughs> I think is 
isn't a good enough answer. Hold on tight. Sonic, over there. There's a vine hanging from the ceiling. Jump. Why was she blushing as well? It's like. Trust me. Honey, you better be right. Now what? Kick the wall. What? Just do it. <sighs> How on Mobius did you know that was gonna work? I didn't. I saw that the stones looked weak, and I figured it was our best hope. See that? Looks like a way out. <laughs> That looks really good. You know, I was only joking about the lava waterfall before. What is this place? Whatever it is, the radar thing is going bonkers. It's so funny because Sonic and the Do um, Tempest, they're surprisingly weaker than the modern day counterparts. Oh, bandits. Because Sonic can't seem to hold his breath for long. I mean, it does make sense though. You you do that all the time though. That was easy. Maybe these robots aren't such a big deal after. Oh. Where's the little dude? Don't going? speak so fast. Wait. Is he trying to show us something? Don't speak too soon. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. What in the world is that thing? Something that'll save our skin, hopefully. It's now or never. Oh. If you hadn't led us to that Wajima Doohick, we would have all been goners. But what is this thing? And what was with that weird shrine that those robots were gunning for? Who cares? All that matters is we got out A-OK. -okay. And I'm ready to kick more mute. Sonic! <clears throat> I'll set up camp for the night. I gotta admit, Temp, you're not a half bad cook. He even knew which of this stuff in the woods was edible. I guess you just kind of pick this stuff up when you're an aspiring chef. Aspiring chef? It's the fourth I'm hearing of it. Not what you expected, huh? Ironic as it sounds. I guess I just got sick of seafood after a while. I grew up in Isle Diana, in Aquatic City. Didn't matter how creative I tried to be with my dishes there. The sea folk are so close-minded. They wouldn't take anything but fish. So I got good at it. But the smell alone is enough to make me gag now. So that's where that Plum Bay joke came from. And then you came to South Island? Sorta. This place is supposed to be a resort, so obviously they should serve good food, right? I figured I could pick up a few tips to bring back home. But then you had to show off my dainty moves. <laughs> so you got sidetracked by my awesomeness, huh? Can't say I blame you. <sighs> yeah, well, anyway, what about you, Sonic? What's your goal for the future? Future goal? Eh, don't have one. Huh? I've been a drifter my whole life. Just hopping from one island to the next, seeing the sights, hearing the chili dogs. I'm satisfied just doing things my way. That is exactly me, to be honest. Well, that's enough rest for me. Thanks for the grub. Sonic is an inspiration to me, in a way. He just... Yeah. I don't know, man. Let's go! Looks like the signal we got back in the temple has gone cold. But there's a new one a few miles to the north. Then we better hurry before we lose track of this one, too. Now this is more like it. Plenty more free space to run around in above ground. Sonic, can we slow down a little? What's wrong, Temp? We just took a break and you're already out of breath again? Uh, I think I need some water. I don't usually stay on dry land this long, especially in those sweltering ruins. Speak of the devil, looks like there's a river coming out of that cave. Wait. 
Is that where the radar was pointing us? Even better. Looks like we beat the robots here, so now we just gotta... Oh, no. No, please, please, no. Now this is more like it. You dare report it to me that you failed your mission because of a couple upstart Mobians? I didn't expect them to have such extraordinary ability, Papa. But I won't underestimate them again. I'll re-engage them immediately. Forget it. Just keep the surveillance buff on them as a safety measure and get back to work. We've lost valuable time as it is. Y yes, Papa. As you command. Besides, there won't be a need to worry about those Mobian pests for long. They'll never survive the hazard zone. The Labyrinth Zone! Oh, come on! You've seen him go through this zone like six times. You should know that he's going to escape it. Oh. Eggman's not very intelligent, is he? Despite him having an IQ of 200-300, we don't really know how much of an IQ he has. He's not really intelligent because he keeps sending Sonic to these places, but you know he's going to escape from it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.